Hi guys, it's Barbara with Quartz Rose Tarot. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you're notified when I upload new content. Guys, this reading is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I will be doing um, it a little differently. I'm going to be putting all 12 signs to the back of the video. So if you're looking for it, that's where you'll find it. So guys, let's get into the energy for Gemini. What does Gemini need to know, please? What does Gemini need to know? Okay. You got the Four of Cups. You got the Strength card. You got the Seven of Pentacles. You got the Eight of Wands. You got the King of Pentacles. And you got the Hanged Man. I feel like with this card, with these cards, with the Four of Cups. I feel like you have, um, you're thinking about something, you're contemplating something, but you could be a little discontent, a little um, apathetic about something, and you need strength. So you may be discontent needing strength here. You're looking back on past mistakes or the seeds that were planted. And I want forward movement here. It looks like this is either you're looking back on past mistakes, you're either communicating this or there's forward movement here. But I feel like because of the you needing strength, because you're you're unhappy about something, you're looking back on a situation, and you're either com you're communicating that to this King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy, because you are seeing things differently now. So if there was something that happened in the past, you're unhappy about it. You you needed strength. You needed strength to look at the past. You needed to see things different and you're communicating to this person i understand it i understand what you're where you're coming from or i understand the situation uh, a little differently now so let's see what's going on for gemini here we have the four of swords and the star card i feel like in this case you're, you're hoping to heal a situation and you want a new beginning but you're still a little, a little guarded. You're still, you're like, this is still in your energy. You're still a little, uh, you know, upset about something. So you're still kind of guarded. But I do feel like with this, that there's going to be an, an apology with your two of cups. The two of you are going, you're going to kiss and make up. That's what this is. You're going to kiss and make up. So if there was an argument or fight, look with the three of swords and the three of wands now they say sometimes people say that two threes are representing the, a third party in the situation i feel like you are looking out at the future that you're waiting heartbroken almost for an answer you're manifesting something you're manifesting communication because you're waiting heartbroken like it's like you're waiting you're waiting to hear from this person so you've manifested something two of pentacles King of Cups and the Seven of Cups. There's an opportunity here, but you're back and forth. So I feel like this person's mastered their emotions. So they've got it together where this is concerned, but they're still a little back and forth. They're making a decision. They know there's an opportunity. It could be that there's options. There's a choice to be made here. There is a choice to be made here. I feel like what this is, is a, like a breakup. Like you guys had a heated conversation you're unhappy about something and and this is about this offer from your two of cups okay so there's an offer here so you want you want this to um come back together is what i'm seeing so let's get some more clarity for you spirit angels spirits and guides clarity and guidance for gemini what does gemini need to know please what does gemini need to know what does Gemini need to know? What are you unhappy about that you need strength? This could be you. This could be a person around you. Take it how it resonates. I, I, I'm seeing a King of Pentacles and, and I'm seeing a King of Cups. I'm not seeing any feminine energy here. This could be the same person. Uh, you could be the one who's discontent or you could be the King of, of Pentacles, King of Cups. You're the one that's heartbroken. So discontent and heartbroken, needing strength, needing strength, mastering your emotions. This is you. This is you. 
you're coming in as a masculine energy you're mastering your emotions you're you're coming you're figuring it out you're figuring it out you're looking at past mistakes um looking at the seeds that are planted and it's causing you to be very trapped in your head you want you want to communicate from out in the cold see i feel like this was a breakup this is a breakup to make up sort of sort of thing it's not saying why it's just saying that you you were unhappy and this is this is you needing strength to to pull it together and looking back at the past is feel, making you feel trapped in your head out of the cold wanting to communicate or wanting forward movement king of pentacles see there's that communication that's kind of an immature offer or an apology but it's there you know, emotional communication. This could be a heart-to-heart -heart communication with somebody talking it out, right? And somebody has regrets here, and they're they're looking at it from a different perspective. They're also this is this is really a timeout. You know, this that the hangman is kind of like a timeout card. Um, somebody has regrets, or there's loss, or they feel the they feel they feel their regret about something, um, but they're wanting to recover it, whatever it is. Divine timings at play. There is, there is hope here, but somebody could be, somebody could be lying about the burdens. You're hoping to heal this, but you could be lying about the burdens. You could be lying about whatever the deception was that was a burden. Because uh, I feel like you're carrying the weight of the relationship on your back not the other way around i don't feel like it's the other person but you could be lying about how how much burden is here but i feel like it's your wish to heal this this burden but you could be still lying about the burden um you're wanting this new beginning and you want it to move forward but you're kind of guarded about this recovering okay so you're kind of guarded and defensive about this recovery i feel like you have some doubts that you that you're doubting that this is going to actually come back together but look here it comes look here it comes with this with this offer or an apology right that you waited for from your two of cups you're at a crossroads like what direction do i go towards somebody from my past i feel like it's your person from the past trying to figure out which path to take to get to you so just let things happen the way they're meant to happen. Heartbroken, you're heartbroken because you're waiting and you're manifesting. You're manifesting. There was betrayal in this relationship with a third party. And the truth is coming out. So you're heartbroken. You're heartbroken and you're waiting. You're waiting. You're manifesting. You're manifesting this situation back to you, but there was betrayal in a relationship with a third party and the a truth is being spoken so that it can heal, heal a situation that's your wish fulfillment. This could be that you were juggling an option because you were the king of cups, coming in as the king of cups, Gemini. You could have been juggling an option, King of Cups. Watching and not speaking, feeling trapped in your head, needing strength for a new beginning with your pre empress, for a new, be literally for a new beginning of love and abundance, but still on guard until there's communication. You will, you will have this communication. This is a coming back together. But you were lying about the burdens because there was a third party situation here. So guys, let me get some clarity for you. Let me get some oracle cards and then we'll get the 12 signs. Passion, feminine energy, reconciliation and strength. Somebody needs the strength to reconcile with their person. Now, whether that is you, Gemini, or if this isn't you, Gemini, it's the other person. The person that cheated was the King of Cups, though. You could be the King of Pentacles in this case. 
So passion, uh, feminine energy. So that's the Empress energy to reconcile with strength. You still have a lot of passion for this person. Spiritual lesson, addiction, obstacle, and rejection. What I feel like, though, is this is a spiritual lesson for you to overcome. Addiction, something could have been causing, whatever that addiction could be anything. It could be alcohol, drugs, sex. It could be work. It could be anything. Uh, uh, addicted to drama, you know. Um, this is unhealed wounds. So there's an obstacle here. You're afraid that you might get rejected in this case. But rejection is actually divine protection. Surrender, solitude, free will, and metamorphosis. Under the bottom of the deck, ascending. So I feel with you, you are um, surrendering here um, to your free will. I mean, you know, it's like you, you're in, in contemplation when you're by yourself. That's kind of like that single free empress mode. So somebody is surrendering when they're by their self. They're, they're coming to terms with something. They know they have free will and they know that they can change. That free will can change at any time. You, you know what I'm saying? With that free will, you can make the decision to change something. You can enact the change. It's your choice to make. Higher vibration, you ascending to a higher level, doing the right thing. So let's get you some cards on here and see what's going on. See? I feel like in this case, you are wanting to come back together with somebody that you're heartbroken over. Um, but there was a lie that was done. There was a third party um, in, the, in this case. And you need the strength to come clean or whoever this King of Cups is, is the one who's coming clean. He's coming back around. Um, he being the masculine energy. Uh, could be a woman, doesn't matter. They're, it's just in a masculine energy. So let's see. Um, give me all 12 signs. Give me the energy for Gemini. And then give me all 12 signs, please. Gemini, you have the Six of Cups and you have the Seven of Cups. I feel like this is a choice that you can make, an opportunity that you have. Um, with somebody from your past. So, you know, use your instincts. You know, this is this is you. This is you making a choice. You have options here, but the choice is somebody from the past. You want back with a person from your past. This is you wanting to come forward. Now, this could be your energy, Gemini. It could be their energy. Give me all 12 signs around Gemini, starting with Aries. Okay, these two fell out, and I'm going to take them. If you're dealing with an Aries, they need strength. If you're dealing with a Taurus, their wish is coming. Their wish is meant to be. So wish fulfillment in divine timing. I feel like with this, it's fate. Fate, and their wish is fate. If you're dealing with another Gemini, there's something that's... There's change in, in this. So with the world, it's coming full circle. It's it's going completely come full circle in a situation. You're, you're, you're ending something to start something new. But there's communication that of change. That you've closed out a cycle here. That you're, you're not the same. You're not doing the same thing. If you're dealing with a cancer, they're holding on for justice. If you're dealing with a Leo, they want to move forward to have equal give and take. They want something to be reciprocal. They want somebody who's going to give as much as you, they get. If you're dealing with a Virgo, I feel like this person's missing you and they want to reconcile. If you're dealing with a Libra, they're looking back at their past. They're using their intuition. And they could be looking back at the past with a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio as well. 
if you're dealing with a Scorpio. There's a lot of drama, a lot of people, a lot of strife, jealousy, competition, drama, and it's a burden. If you're dealing with a Sagittarius, they've waited for this King of Cups for a long time. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. If you're dealing with if you're dealing with a Capricorn, I feel like this is a lot of fighting and arguing. So a harsh truth is being spoken and it causes an argument. If you're dealing with an Aquarius, you have the Hermit and the High Priestess. Someone's not speaking, they're just doing some soul searching. They're just staying to themselves, going within figuring things out if you're dealing with a Pisces there's some deception with a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn so guys I'm going to take this to the extended and get you some more clarity so if this resonates with you please leave me a comment down below don't forget to like share and subscribe and I'll see you in the Vimeo for the extended